I'm going to show you the easiest way of using the UART in the free RTOS with the STM32 project. Let's create a new project and choose your discovery board, which I'm using STM32 F4 discovery board. You can select it from the board selector by typing your board name or simply by clicking on the search menu and searching for the right microcontroller series in my case stm32 f4 next i need to navigate to the stm32 f4 and on the board section i need to search for my stm32 discovery board it has a lot of options but i need to choose the stm32 f4 or 7g discovery board next i need to name my project in my case, I'm naming it free art toast underscore YouTube underscore you off or you could uh, say it use art or but I'm using it in asynchronous mode. So uh, initialize without the default parameters because I'm going to set the parameters myself. I'm not going to use much peripherals because I'm only going to use the UART peripheral. Uh, the next I need to wait for this project to finish its initialization and the creation project. After that it will take you to the cube MX setting like this. This is IOC file. All you need to do is to check that all your peripherals uh, like the onboard LEDs are highlighted because these LEDs are initialized for you. Uh, UR2 is available, which I'm going to use, and all I need to do is to enable it in asynchronous mode. After that, I need to go to the parameter sections and uh, make sure everything is perfect. PA2 is for TX and PA3 is for RX. You need to um, attach FT232 converter chip so you can see the values on your laptop this is a 11.5200 baht rate for now and all these parameters should be remain same next we need to move to the free auto section and i'm going to choose the chemsys version 1 after that uh, make sure that you are using the preemptive preemptive enabled in the kernel section in the advanced settings use the new lib enable after that go to the sys menu like this and put it down choose some other timer for time based source once done you are good to generate the code it will take you to the c++ perspective uh, click yes because we want to generate the code even the NVIC we are not using any interrupt for our UART for now for the sake of simplicity because I want to make sure that everything is simple I'm going to show you the simplest way and the easiest way to get started not the complex configurations uh, most of things are as it is and next uh, what I'm going to uh, go through the here we have a default task we need to create more tasks so you we can play with the UART and uh, for, uh, the free authors so we need to move back to the IOC file and we can make any changes we want so we will go to the um, UART sections uh, everything is good here uh, we need to move to the free autos and here we need to create more tasks so we need to create move to the task and queue bar tab and here we are going to um, add another task just put it back and come back here um, click on the add button create a new task you can name it uh, whatever you like uh, this name is not gonna affect on your function because uh, the function is the entry function 
so we can leave the everything else as it is we are going to create three three tasks and uh, next one is uh, you are task two and uh, normal priority and uh, let's create one more task and uh, we can change the priority level as well we can put it uh, down below the normal and for task 2 normal is fine and uh, the task 3 uh, which is gonna use the start task 0 for fu entry function and uh, we can uh, put the priority above normal so the different priority uh, levels will uh, able to run the task for start task for function uh, with the highest priority and after that uh, the task uh, um, 2 and the task 1 um, create a code if you save the IOC file it will ask you to generate the code for the file and the, all you need to do is pass yes and uh, once the code is uh, done you will see in your code section uh, the three more functions start task 2 3 and 4 are created for you and um, these are the three tasks that we are going to use we will we'll leave the default task as it is and uh, here you can see the entry level for all of these three um, tasks here you can see the first argument is the uart 1 2 and 3 that we name it and uh, but the entry functions are uh, start task 2 3 and 4 uh, so the highest priority level is uh, for the uh, the task for and we are going to leave uh, the uh, default task as it is uh, moving to the start task function here we are actually writing the code for the UART and uh, we are creating an character array uh, so all we're going to you uh, use is the uint8 and uh, underscore t uh, that are type and uh, we are naming the text uh, array and we are creating a array of uh, characters which is string and I'm just going to print uh, some function uh, some text to display on the serial terminal and uh, text from the task to uh, would work fine because we are just going to demonstrate and the function to transmit uh, the UART uh, uh, text over the UART as the hall underscore UART and underscore um, transmit and you can find that function under the recommendation uh, this ID is pretty uh, the, for, uh, just like the Eclipse so the transmit function and uh, we have the HUART2 handler and the text one that we want to transmit and here we need to mention how much how many characters we need to transmit so we will grab the size of the um, text and uh, we put that here and for timeout we are just 500 milliseconds we would work and uh, after that we need to put some delay here so we can modify it to 300 millisecond or the 500 millisecond and just copy um, these three lines and we are going to paste it all over uh, over task so uh, just change the number so we would be aware which function is transmitting which text and uh, after that uh, we are good to run this code in over SEM32 F4 discovery board so all you need to select over project from the project menu and under the, under the run uh, we will run it as stm32 project and we need to wait for it uh, for the build to finish and once the build is finished it will automatically uh, download the code into our stm32 f4 discovery board and uh, meanwhile i plugged my discovery board leave all the configuration as it is and the build is done and after that the code download process is started make sure you plug in your stm32 f4 discovery board before uh, starting the build process and once everything is done 
uh, you need some kind of serial terminal and make sure you have attached the FD232 chip uh, with the proper wiring se uh, settings TX to RX and RX to TX and after that one uh, when you are finished with your connections uh, make sure you put uh, the USB cable with your R FD232 chip as well and uh, put that chip onto your uh, laptop and uh, next uh, use some kind of uh, serial monitor for monitoring the values from the board and uh, in my case I'm just using the Arduino IDE which have inbuilt serial terminal and uh, select the COM port and here you can see uh, the garbage value because the baud rate is 9600 uh, I think the 9600 default baud rate is good so uh, instead of changing the baud rate in the terminal uh, let's go back into the code and I'll show you how to change the baud rate if you need to change the baud rate in your code so all you need to do is move to the your uh, project configuration file which is IOC file and in under the UART section under the parameter tab uh, you can change uh, this number 115200 to simply 9600 so uh, that's all you will build your code again and uh, once your code is uh, generated all you need to do is to upload that code into your SM32 F4 board just like we did before um, I think we need to make uh, one more a little bit of changes into our code before we uh, download that code into our microcontroller uh, you will see a problem that uh, our uh, text are pretty much uh, merged into each other so if we download this code into our microcontroller and uh, try to visualize the uh, characters uh, receiving uh, from the C microcontroller you will see that all the values are much so just put a, a line break into every uh, string and uh, change it into your every task uh, slash r and slash n will put a line break as well as new line character so these are two characters um, that you need to put into every line of text that you are transmitting it will help you to um, send the new line as well so make sure your board is connected the, you will receive this error if your board is not connected so uh, plug your board and download the code into your stm32 f4 discovery board and once your code is downloaded go back to your uh, serial monitor uh, in my case it is an arduino ide so let's go back to the arduino ide to see if uh, our code is working as we expected so here you can see um my ide and uh, let's select the serial monitor and yes you are uh, seeing the all three uh, messages coming or uh, right together because the delay is same uh, but the priority is different because uh, the task forward having the highest priority which is above normal and task three have normal and that's it for all